Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. And now your host, Kyle Ruff. Hard dicks, that's hot content. Say. We have the Ruff. hardest dicks on the internet. We do have hard dicks. And that's saying a lot. Go to Pornhub. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Well, fucking let's just get into it, boys. Welcome to the Steamboat Comedy Podcast, everybody. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Live yeah. studio audience. Uh, I'm your host, again, Kyle Ruff, joined by Matt Newland, of Thanks course. Thanks for coming out. Check me out. And Check it out. Special guest returning to the pod after many moons. Many Jared moons. Jared Morrell. Woo! Many moons. <laughs> friend of the show is on the show. <laughs> oh, it's so glad I'm so glad we got a friend of the show on the show. We got a friend of the show on the show. <laughs> yeah, dude. We rarely get friends of the show on the show. Yeah, usually they're just friends of the show out in the ether. Out in the internet world. Yes. Where everyone exists. Where everyone exists All and everyone dicks. talks shit to us. <laughs> 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 we haven't you gotten any uh, any hateful comments at least this week. No, well, just mean, in real life. So you just got in, one in person. It in like. real life. Oh yeah, yeah. We had a show last night, a fucking banger show that everyone loved, and a bunch of people came to, and it was great. And we were sitting there getting ready, and uh, the the door guy, Pat, front of the show, front of the show, um, <laughs> was talking to this group. It was like five chicks and a dude. I didn't recognize any of them, and uh, they were talking to a minute, and they turned around and they left. And I go to Pat, and I'm like, "What was that about?" And he's like, fuck them, you don't want them here. And I was like, why? And he goes, yeah, they said that uh, Steamboat Comedy sucks and they're not funny. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and, then, and I tell Matt, and Matt just fucking gets up and walks out the door. Fucking and she, <laughs> Superman, dude. Titties out, dude. Go, Titties yeah. out, chases him down. Fucking went out there and yelled at him a little bit, yeah. dude. It wasn't, like, good. I, I didn't have any, like, good comeback time. Kind of proved their point. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but fuck them, dude. I, no, I went out there and I yelled, you're not funny and you suck. And they're like, what? And I was like, you're not funny and you suck. <laughs> and then he was like, what? And I was like... You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, I've seen you do comedy. I was like, yeah. He's like, I've seen you do comedy, and it made me want to kill myself. And I was like, you were in flip-flops, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got him. Got him, you dumb shit. I no. can't believe he didn't say, like, good or, like, He had, it. like, w- wanting to fight energy, and I didn't want to fight. Okay, so you had to diffuse it. Well, how, far, you- how far were you from the door, though? I was right, right outside the door. Yeah, I could see him. Like, sta- I could see his posture. I could tell he was yelling at him. Yeah. Oh, I totally would have yelled some shit back and just walked back in, even if he was running at me. You, th- you say that, but in the moment, we're not as heroic as we all think. Yeah, yeah. I know. Let me- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I like to think that I would Turns out we're all cowards. Turns out- <laughs> it's not like I cowered down. I was like, oh, you decided to not kill yourself so you could buy some more flip-flops, you idiot? <laughs> and he was like, oh, fucking. And I was like, it, would- it took everything in me not to call him and the people he was with fat were they fat <laughs> they were fat oh. and they literally went through my head i was like you could call them all fat right now because one of them said they were gonna fuck my mom and i was like i'm gonna fuck <laughs> your mom and i just yelled it back but in my head i was like, <laughs> just said what they said right back to them like How, how's that medicine taste you idiot and then but they were like all fat and it really took everything in me not to be like right, where are you going to get some food you fat pieces of shit but that would have been that would have Probably I had it. problems. It would have, yeah, I would have had to fight if I had done that. Yeah, I don't want to fight. I don't want to beat the shit out of him in front of his friends. In front of his fat, fat friends. Fr- yeah, yeah dude. beat up a fat dude in front of a bunch of fat chicks. That's not a good look. <laughs> the point is, they're hateful people, and I hope, uh, I hope bad things happen to them. Yeah, That's it's fair. just wild. I like, I didn't recognize any of them. No, they're not local for sure. I was gonna say. Well, then how do they know we suck? <laughs> they did. I, I don't, don't think they've seen us. I think they're just like hateful. Like, oh, they're just shitty petty they're people just walking around like saying nasty shit because they're kind of drunk. Because they're fat. Because they're, they're mad fat. In the world. Yeah. They hate fat, themselves. mad, and drunk, so dude. Like, yeah, fat, mad, and drunk. Maybe that's the name of my first special. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get fatter if you're gonna. I do, do gotta that. get fatter and madder. I still. I'm already drunk. I still. This came about maybe two years ago. I think when we all moved in here. Yeah. Of trying to pay you a certain amount over a year to get you to yeah. be fat. You guys were trying to give me the Mac treatment to yes. see if I could yeah. just get yeah. fat. I want you to get fat. <laughs> just like gain a hundred pounds. I don't think that I could, bro. Okay, well, like if we're talking hypothetically, how much would you need to get like, to try like to be fat, man? Financially, to like just purposely get fat? Yes. Yeah. It would take a lot. Like, um, give me a number. Uh, if you paid me like. 
Like realistically. Realistically. Yeah. Not like a million dollars. Like, For 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 40 bucks and two hairs. I was going to say like $20,000. 20 G's. If you pay me 20 G's. Cool, guys. We're starting a fundraiser on the show. If you start a, <laughs> we need a 20 G's. Me for me to just get fat. Would you legitimately do that? I if would you do got, it. If, if you, you raise $20,000 on the internet. I'm going to start a go. I would, I would gain, <laughs> what, 50 pounds? I'd say 80. You got 100, 80? dude. 80? Yeah, fat. I don't think that I can. I you, think you could. I, I think only you weigh could 150 it. pounds. I think you could be 230. I don't think it's possible. I, th- oh, I don't think I, I think have the is. frame. Oh, I think it is. You don't, you don't have the frame? If you got <laughs> the frame, if I don't you have got... the real estate to put <laughs> yeah. all this fat, dude. That's what makes it funny. <laughs> Man, I would be so... Me, 230 pounds? That'd be That'd so be good. The best. I would look like hammered shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you could start doing fat jokes on stage. Man, because I will... Uh, you like, could start leaning into it so hard. Mac, or falling over either, uh, either Rob way. Rob McElhenney, yeah. uh, friend, friend of the, the show. show. <laughs> uh, from It's All a Sunny in Philadelphia, <laughs> inspiration, he got fat. And I remember him talking about it, like, how did you get so fat so quickly? Yeah. And he said that he was like, just to get the calories, he would melt tubs of ice cream and then drink, drink them. it. That's, That's so, so gnarly. That's insane. I'll try it. I'm not going to. You gonna would? Li- <laughs> well, you guys have let a milkshake sit out a little too, not a milkshake, but ice cream sit out too long and yeah. you finish it. Yeah, but not We've when all it's, done it. Not when it's, it's completely not melted. Th- it's the like the intention of going in with it, being like, I'm gonna let this melt and then drink it. That's the gross part. Yes, but we've all let ice cream sit out a little too long. We're yeah. like, yeah, we're still gonna finish yeah. it, and that's ice not as gross. That's not as gross. Ice cream soup, dude. The intention that makes it gross. gross. What's gross is gaining eighty soup. pounds. Bro. Yeah, dude. My it's grandma, hilarious. my grandma made the best ice cream soup growing up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I gotta get her recipe. Yeah, it was mm. hot. <laughs> She'd boil it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like if you got fat, you'd get fat like in your legs first. Like that's where I don't see. I've never got fat. I don't know what part would get I fat. Could, yeah, actually, that's he'd get fat calves. No, I feel like love handles. No, I feel like you get face fat. I get face fat. Yeah, maybe. I feel like your face would. I'm trying to think of bit. like the fattest I've ever been in my life. What's the most you've ever weighed? <laughs> like right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So more muscle than fat. Yeah. Obviously. I don't. I I can't. I've been the same weight since I was like sixteen, almost. Yeah. I'm like 10 pounds heavier now than I was when I was like 16 years old. He was only 16. <laughs> how many, how many 16 years old? He was only 16. 16. I could see you having fat calves. Fat oh, calves? Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. got you could skinny be fat, legs, dude. You could be a fat calf boy, exactly. dude. I yeah, think, I think it'd, go, first. I think it'd go, go right to my ass and my love handles. Clumping around. If you, got, if you had just cankles. <laughs> just, <laughs> like, just, just, they just, they just get gout, yeah. basically. Just my ankles just inflate. It would be a fun experiment. Ooh, that's a, it. We'll tack on another five G's if you get gout. <laughs> <laughs> and another ten G for a kidney stone. Yes. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> just, yeah. Oh, thousand God. dollars a stone, dude. We're just betting on this. Like, what's, a stone. Yeah. <laughs> what's gonna happen to Kyle? Kyle's a heart attack. Five grand on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically just a dead pool at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The fat pool. The fat pool. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds in fat in pool. fat pool. <laughs> well, if you uh, if you raise the money, I'll I'll do I'll it. I'll start a GoFundMe for this. Start a GoFundMe. Look out for a GoFundMe, y'all. I'm gonna we're gonna get Kyle fat. Let's get Kyle. If fat, you get the whole dude. community involved, I bet it could happen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like legitimately thinking about this. Okay, well, we'll fucking see. I guess God, I hope not. That if sounds I like get a nightmare. Twenty grand, you're getting fat. I have to get fat. What's the t- wh- how much time do I have to get fat? Like six months. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this, <laughs> dude. And I what think would be a good amount of time? I think it would take at least six months. I mean, it would take at least six months to gain eighty I'd say, pounds. I'd say you have ten months. Ten months to, to be, get fat. To get fat. A year. Let's make it an even make year. It a year. Make, make it, it a year. Make it a year. What a nightmare. Calendar year. It's also like I'm not gonna get laid for like a year because I'll be a fat, schlubby little man. Who gives a know. shit, dude? That's yeah. true. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't do it the for the confidence, Kyle? Yeah. Rock the confidence, okay? Yeah, All dude. Right. Fat guys, fat guys have sex too sometimes. Yeah, but then I'd have to Let's say we fat know, girls. We know some big dudes who pull some hot chicks. Dude. That's true. Yeah, that's if you're a fact. If you're a fat guy, mail us in the last time you had sex. Yes, and tell us how <laughs> you did it. <laughs> yeah, in and graphic wh- detail. And what did you say to get them to do that with you? <laughs> to do that thing <laughs> that you do, all fat and stuff. We all know what you do. <laughs> we we know what we you know do. We know what sex you is. You little fat rascal, you. <laughs> we know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you little fat rascal. You little fat rascal, you. <laughs> Oh my God! Speaking of being fat, uh, I wanted to talk with you yeah. about this. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on your new job. I'm gonna be getting people fat, dude. That's See, right. I can help you get fat. 
So Jared here has accepted the position of the general manager of Fuzzy Wigs. Yeah. If you don't know, Fuzzy Wigs is a candy store. It's the best candy store. Come check it out. It's a it's a chain, right? There's like Fuzzy Wigs everywhere. Yeah. Uh, they're in. There's one in Vail, and then they're in. Do you know what Shields is? Shields. I know what Shields is. Yeah. I, I know Brook Shields. Shields You've been to it, Brook Shields. Yeah. Was hot back in the eighties. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Never been to a Shields. Apparently, they're like franchised into those stores like yeah they have little fudge have you been to one i've been to a shields i went to a shields when i was in idaho last time i was in idaho well, like my brother was there a like, fuzzy wigs in it though. we gotta go i don't know dude i was looking at all the fucking guns <laughs> they have dude guns and fudge Thousands. that's all you need guns and fudge dude. dude that's the name of my first comedy special yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> especially if i get fat dude <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh so um obviously you're gonna have control the emporium of candy and oh, other yeah. various things what candy are you most looking forward to selling to children and killing them slowly that's a good that's an important question <laughs> um ooh, that is a good question fuck i mean there's gonna I mean, sell a lot of fudge we sell a lot of fudge you guys have all different kinds of fudge oh yeah we got reese's and m&ms and, M&Ms and <laughs> fuck <ooh>. regular <laughs> white chocolate white chocolate fudge chocolate. <laughs> yeah fudge dude. on a stick fudge, on fudge stick. burgers waffle covered fried fudge fudge, fudge, stew. Boiled fudge. <laughs> shrimp fudge shrimp fudge <laughs> fudge on the cob <laughs> <laughs> oh dude cob fudge don't fuck with me, okay <laughs> Do That's they a, do it like like they do with cake, where they like make shit that looks like an object, and you're like, is it a shoe or is it cake? Do they do that with fudge? And then they you should. cut into it. <laughs> they should. Except you're always gonna know it's fudge because it's only one color. Because <laughs> <laughs> it turns out you can't really do a lot with it. Yeah, you know, you know how they do that. They're like. Look at this hand. It looks like a cake, and they cut it, and it's a cake. It'd be funny if it was like, look like it, look at this cake, and you cut into it, and it's someone's hand. <laughs> <laughs> they start screaming. Yeah. Just David Blaine's <laughs> screaming into a microphone. <laughs> Someone hiding under the table. Like, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his head pointing out, and he's like, I'm real. Don't cut it. And they're like, is it cake? <laughs> I can't believe that wasn't actually cake. How do they do that? <laughs> Whoa. This cake sure bleeds and screams a lot. <laughs> Seven I fingers. will say the one thing I'm least... Happy to sell is Jelly Bellies. I'm not a Jelly Bean fan. No, it's no. gonna be a hard sell for you, huh? I do the uh, the Starburst Jelly Beans. Do oh, whip ass, yeah, dude. Starburst Jelly Beans. You never had Starburst Jelly Beans? I don't think so. Get the Starburst f- Jelly Beans. Starburst Jelly Beans. They are so good. They taste like Starburst, but they're Jelly Beans. But they're Jelly yeah, Beans. I get. Uh, I don't so know. They I call feel them Starburst Jelly Beans. Yeah, but they have like a hard shell. Like it's. I mean, a, it's not that hard. Well, that yeah, hard. it's harder than a Starburst. A Starburst not, just a so- is just a taffy like. They're both chewy. They're both chewy. Yeah, but they're different kinds of chewy. Different kinds You've of chewy. You've never even had one. You don't yeah, even but like I'm a, jelly but I've had jelly beans. <laughs> but these are different because they're Starburst jelly beans. They're different flavors. They you're, taste like Starburst. You're sitting here running a candy <laughs> store, <laughs> and you're telling me you, never you, don't, you never had no Starburst jelly beans? <laughs> Jelly beans on, and? A, on no, a that's stick. It. <laughs> <laughs> Fried jelly Starburst on. jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut je- Starburst jelly beans. Starburst jelly beans on the cob. Jelly bean burger. Jelly <laughs> bean <laughs> burger. You don't yeah. like jelly beans? No, I'm not a huge fan of jelly beans. I think I ate a fuckload of them when I was a kid. The jelly belly ones do suck more. I'm not. It's yeah. I don't know. I think I ate too many of the toasted marshmallow ones, and I got real tired of them. Oh, yeah. why would you eat the toasted marshmallow ones? I don't why know. They were my that? favorite when I was a kid. Why? What's your favorite Jelly Belly flavor? Puke <laughs> <laughs> from fucking Harry Dude, Potter. They, they make the puke yeah, jelly beans. That's a real s- thing. No, we sell the Harry Potter ones. And then there's puke flavor. Yes, and yeah. there's grass. Okay, put some there's of those grass? to the side. Put some of those oh, to yeah. the side. Have you for not me. had Harry Potter jelly beans? I've had. I think I had like boogers or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, there's yeah, boogers, boogers, dirt, grass, boogers on a stick, boogers, fried boogers, cobbed burgers. <laughs> yeah, boogers. Yeah. Uh, which the I'm just remembering now that I found that booger on our coffee table earlier, and I didn't wash my hands afterwards. <laughs> it wasn't a booger, Gross. dude. Anyways. It kind of looked like a booger. I think it was a booger. I think it was a booger. Put a bunch of the puke ones to the side for me. <laughs> I'll let you do me a favor. Give me some puke ones on layaway, please. Let's do some new fucking jelly bean flavors. What would, if like you what? could make a new Ooh. jelly bean flavor, what would it be? Ooh, this is a good question oh, for you, Jared. T- I well, I don't know what jelly bean flavors there are already because I'm um. You're sitting there running a candy. store. I am new to the candy store. Okay. Yeah, you're new to the candy how did, economy. How did you get this job? <laughs> you are That's so good, unqualified. That is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ooh, what would I make? Well, I already have a butterscotch. They I'm just assuming. made you watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, that's just, just that's the training video. Like, that right, you sit in the back here's and watch. your purple suit and top hat. <laughs> yeah, now like, get on the floor, you idiot. Oh, oh bro, you got to do that. You, you got to oh, no, dress I, like I'm Willy gonna, Wonka. I'm gonna be Willy Wonka for Halloween, and Teresa's gonna be an Oompa Loompa. Dude, really? You're the, yeah. 
<laughs> and actually, if that works, yeah, that we fits. already decided it. The fucking Willy Wonka steamboat, bro. This is I'm seeing it now. Yeah. This is the perfect job. I for do you. need to grow my hair out a little more though, because I, I just cut it. I have to. Is, that's Willy Wonka size. That's Johnny Depp Wonka. Yeah, yeah you don't, don't want to go JD Wonka. No, I like Gene Wilder Wonka. You got to go GW I'm all, Wonka. I'm not Johnny Depp Wonka though. I'm not a big fan of Johnny Depp Wonka. No, it's not. You can't beat Gene, dude. The you Wilder. You can't beat him. No, you can't beat no. He'll kill you. He'll beat your. And he's ass. already he'll dead. Into oblivion. He will, beat the fuck he will come back to life and whip his on blue your eyes face. will disintegrate your face. Ugh, Gene, Gene Wilder's Wilder. dead. Yeah, dude. He died like five years ago, bro. Yeah. There's a whole documentary on him on Hulu or Netflix. Yeah. You should watch it. It's really He's good. He's a fucking man. Fuck. Yeah. It's really, it's the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> I know. Do you want some jelly beans to, to make up for it? Ooh, Gene Wilder flavored jelly beans. That's Ooh, what Gene I want. Gene Wilder flavored? Yeah. I'd, I'd make Gene Wilder <sighs> Wait, like flavored. Gene Wilder flavored, like it tastes like a dead guy? <laughs> or it tastes like Gene Wilder in his prime, which I assume is like rosemary. In his prime. No, I'm thinking like, like young Frankenstein flavored. Ooh, tastes like black and white. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And big boobs on an assistant. Big boobs. Oh, thank you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what knockers. God, I love that movie. I was going to make espresso. <laughs> <laughs> Gene Hackman out of nowhere. I love are you really trying to cry right now? I did cry. <laughs> are you, are you crying? His, I don't see any his tears. Eyes are, yeah, it's kind of wet on I that I can side. cry on command. I'm a fucking thespian, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like you're a little misty. Yeah, misty as fuck. Gene Wilder died, dude. Show, show you not, the camera. Show your misty eyes to the camera. How did you not know? <sighs> Are you Wilder not died. fucking sad? Yeah, I was. was. Sad Gene Five Wilder died. I was sad back then. I actually did fucking drop a tear sucks. during the documentary. I will say that. Oh, I can't watch it because I will cry like a bitch. Oh my god, that's so good. Fucking though. sucks. Look at these tears. These are Gene Wilder tears. You see them? Kind yeah, a little bit. I I don't know. It looks like that's... someone misted your face. A yeah, my fucking right eye actually hurts once I started crying. <laughs> it like stings. Oh, but God. I can cry on command. I just, you, I, I just, just had, showed um, everybody. You did. That was you're very talented. I just showed everybody that I can act. I just had a flashback. Trying to get though, fucking a role, speaking dude. Speaking of uh, tears, I hit that smelling salt. Yeah. Oh, my last night. oh my God, dude! You fell off your chair. I fell off my. I've never sniffed smelling salts like that before. So I just he put it in front of me. And I just went like, I just gave it a big hearty sniff. And I thought I was going to die. Dude, yeah. no, fucked me up too. Dude, Dude holy those, shit. those are the gnarliest smelling salts I've ever encountered. It it like explodes your fucking head. I, yeah. Dude, <laughs> it was no. the back of my brain. It hurt. was like the behind my eyes was like menthol. Oh. Yeah, it's insane. That is like the weirdest feeling I've ever had in my yeah, life. Dude, like like my my fucking eyes welled up <laughs> and my nose was on fire dude, and I hurt. fell on the ground and was like ah in front of like a full bar of people just yeah. looking at me like what the well, fuck? Well, no, I think people thought you were like joking at first. Like they were like, what is that weird guy doing on the floor? Like look at this talented actor. And I was like, no, this is real. No, this is happening oh, right now. God, yeah, it was brutal. It was, it was funny to watch though. It fucking <laughs> I'll say that sucked. It was extremely funny. Yeah, I was. Uh, I thought I was gonna throw up and die, but luckily I recovered thirty minutes later. Have you ever watched like uh, sports videos where it's the guys on the sideline or like in hockey and they're in the box and they're like hitting, Hit the smelling salts, they're hitting yeah. the salts, but they're like, <laughs> like they're just freaking the yeah. fuck out, like, like oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that is hands down one of my favorite things to watch. It definitely that definitely woke me up last night. I'll tell you that. I'm pretty sure one of the players on the Canadians. The worst team in hockey. Uh, Shout out to the Canadians. Front of the show. <laughs> I think one of the dudes, <laughs> this was like years ago, hit fucking smelling salts and puked on the bench. Like Jesus. Just, yeah, he That's hit him awesome. so bad he puked. And then his shift was like in 30 seconds. And like, all right, go out there. <laughs> yeah, like, all right, get on the <laughs> ice, stupid. Like disoriented. <laughs> yeah. and like, At least I he didn't throw up on the ice. That'd be fun. Has anyone ever thrown up on the ice in the NHL? It has to. I'm has sure, to. but I've never seen it. But I have, I mean, if someone's been stabbed in the neck, yeah. Then I assume someone has puked on the ice in the NHL or the AHL. Oh. Yes. Ah. Which oh. actually they have to wear neck uh, protectors this year now. So you don't slice your jugular? Yeah, So because that kid in England who got fucking marked. Really? That happened recently? Oh, yeah. Did you not hear about that? No. Oh, yeah. I've seen it happen forever ago. It was like the Buffalo Sabres. Some guy uh, got sliced. I remember what you're talking about. If that dude was on the other side of the ice, he would have died. The medics were at that side of the ice. That's wild. Yeah. Dude. Like small he was world. literally. Small world. Small world. <laughs> small, world. Yeah. small ice. That's small ice. Small rank. Hmm. Yeah, there's a guy in England who got cut, and like they were trying to get the guy from manslaughter who did it. And they were like, he didn't hit him on purpose. Yeah. Like, you have. Blades on your feet. What did you expect? Yeah, yeah it happens. Yeah, like that's how it kind of goes. <laughs> Way she goes. That's gnarly. Ooh, hockey. Probably hockey how blade flavored jelly bellies. 
Hockey, yeah. <laughs> I want I want jugular bleeding from sliced hockey flavored jelly bellies. Yeah, it sounds delicious. Mm. Blood jelly bellies. Just blood jelly bellies. Little do they steep. have a? Did, is there blood ones? That's that can't that be seems, good. That seems oh, more fun. It'd than be barf. so coppery. Yeah. Ugh. Like irony, you know what I mean? Mm. Ugh. What about menstruation? Jelly, jelly bellies. bellies. Ugh, no. That could be fun. Oh, or just vagina. I know Gwyneth, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow vagina oh, flavored. Yeah, jelly yeah. Bellies. I forgot she had the candle going. She had the candle. You might did. as well eat it. I always said my bathroom doesn't smell enough like Gwyneth Paltrow's <laughs> pussy. <so. laughs> Let's give me one of them in there. I wonder how unique her pussy smells compared to other pussies. You know, dude. I don't. Is she Canadian? Probably. Wh- why? <laughs> I imagine it's different. They're not like, like us. They're not well, real white people. It's kind of like it's bacon versus Canadian bacon. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. It smells a little more like ham. It's a yes. longitude <laughs> thing, dude. The longitude's up, the more smelly. Different smelly. The Different vagina. Smelly. Different smell. The colder it is, the, the more smell. Yeah, the more, because it's got to have insulation. Yeah, vagina's on ice. More pubes. <laughs> vagina's on ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a great fucking <laughs> Disney show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking the family to see Vaginas on Ice next it's weekend. It's going to be great. It's just the pussy mo- uh, vagina monologues, but yeah. uh, ice <laughs> They got to, like, fucking skate, and they're not good at it. <laughs> they all just fall down. Fall down and bruise their like, pussies. Like, I remember my first period. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I found the clit. Fuck. Uh, and it just hit the ground. Ah! Anyways. Jared, do you remember the first time a girl made you queef? <laughs> <laughs> Like it, today? It hurt. I know that. <laughs> Did it scare you? Yeah. You ever had a your dick fart? It's yeah. a weird feeling. Ooh, ah, dick farts. Dude. Actually, a dick fart is a quaff. Yeah. A quaff. Yeah. A queef is just a vagina. A quaff is a dick fart. So yeah. that's like when you have your hair all poofed up. That's a dick fart. <laughs> yeah. Comes, well, so, comes someone out your like, ears. Comes out your someone <laughs> was. <laughs> they were so. <laughs> <laughs> they were so confused back in the day. They're like, "What is that?" <laughs> and it blew their hair up. Oh. <laughs> that's how they got the quaff. That that's where a, we get the term. And yeah. that was the uh, initial smelling salt, if you will. <laughs> 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 you ever have someone dick fart in your face? Really wakes you up. <laughs> yeah, it really gets you going. <laughs> the guys, the guys on the hockey bench just dick farting in each other's faces. <laughs> like, woo! <laughs> I'm on. I'm ready, coach. Put me in. Put me in, coach. <laughs> he's like, you're a goalie. You're a backup. Sit there. Yeah, why don't you sit there? He's like, could you please just dick part in my face? Please? Though? Just one more. Yeah. I just need one more. I just want to look at it, really. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good dick, kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> Excellent balls. Now, Jared, you're from Massachusetts, right? Yep, where the quaff was invented. Mm. What do you think of the movie Goodwill Hunting? Ah, oh, it's great. <laughs> Gotta love it. How many times have you seen it? Do you think about it often? I feel like there's a setup here that I there's have no, no idea setup. about. There's no setup. This is a serious setup. podcast, and we're not divisive. Legitimately, I've not pro- divisive. I've we're not divisive. Not divisive. I've heard. Uh, I legitimately think I've seen it like 20 times. Mm-hmm. And I feel smarter every time I watch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not, Wicked smack. Not because of Matt Damon. Mostly because of Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah. Because he's of, such an idiot. Because of, of, of Ben and Casey Affleck. <laughs> Casey's great in it. Ben Affleck sucks chuds in it. Yeah, he does suck chuds. Well, Retainer. he's like not a great actor. I mean, he's okay. He's a great he got actor. better with. He's age. a friend of the show, dude. Friend of the show, Ben Affleck. Nice. Okay, the town. The town oh, is great. God, is fucking great. great. I love the town. We've got mm-hmm. some of your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> how, how hot is Mini Driver in Ben? What do you think of Mini Driver in it? I don't. I'm What's not... your top three Mini Driver movies? <laughs> <laughs> I can't name two other Mini Driver <laughs> I can't movies. Uh-uh. I know she's been in other movies, but yeah, I don't know what they I are. I didn't watch them. No, oh, she was the gross girl in The Exorcist. Spun her head all the way around. You didn't know that was Mini Driver? Is it, is it really? No. <laughs> That'd no, be great. Don't be she rude. probably was unborn when that came out. When was that? Seventy four. She was reborn. She was born again. <laughs> born again, Christian. <laughs> she has a she has jowls like a bulldog. Dude, yeah, she's bulldog. got like a huge face. Yeah, I'm not a mini driver fan. Oh, I, don't I got some of your pico. <laughs> I think I got it. I want you to come to California with me. Who believe that? Who would believe that she went to Harvard? Come on. Yeah, right. I know. Did she right? go to Harvard in that? It is important yes. that I learned yeah. this. Shut up. Well, What's your least died. favorite part of Goodwill Hunting? Uh, any scene that Ben Affleck is in. <laughs> yeah. That last scene is terrible. The, the last um, scene where he realizes that Will isn't there and, and he, he has just, to like act. He like when he not when he not wait when he <laughs> no, 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 you mean when he knocks on the door? Yeah. And he, just, and he he like turns and like like smirks like huh huh. huh. And then he, he just walks he yeah it. walks back to the yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not, not gonna lie. He's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you're not your fucking best? in there, kid. <laughs> Is that your best Boston That's accent? That's my best Boston accent. Say Boston with a Boston accent. Boston. <laughs> Fuck you. Boston, dude. I'm fucking Ben sucks. Affleck. I'm from Wicked Boston. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ben I'm Affleck. I'm addicted to heroin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, I'm fucking Percocets, dude. Yeah, dude. We love it, Ben. Dude. Tom Brady roast. I fucking mm-hmm. sucked. There's nothing like smoking a Percocet out some tinfoil while watching the Patriots <laughs> win a Super Bowl. I'm just telling you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. That is, that is the best shit in the world. That, that is a great. high like no other. <laughs> also, it smells like marshmallows, so. Ah. It smells like marshmallow uh, spirit. And that's why you can't have the jelly bellies anymore. Ooh, Percocet, marshmallow, <laughs> yeah, Percocet jelly beans. Flavor. Have you ever Percocet. have Vicodin flavor? <laughs> 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 just getting the kids addicted early. <laughs> you have a Vicodin flavor jelly belly. It's just Vicodin. It's not <laughs> it's actually just, a jelly bean. It's just like, Vicodin. it's not very chewy. Yeah. I hope yeah. my bosses don't ever hear this. I'm not going to sell Vicodin to children. He's no, selling never. Vicodin to children. Comedy, <laughs> it's a comedy podcast. We're not divisive. We're not that divisive. Did make we don't me, sell Vicodin That did make me think of something. Back in the day, did you guys ever take melatonin? Yeah. Yeah, I took vel- melatonin. I have some. Okay. Right yeah. <laughs> so t- back. W- did you take it recently? No, it never really worked for me. Oh. Dude, I OD'd on melatonin one time. What? Slept for 48 hours. Oh, really? like you were yeah. just f- a zombie. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I used to like, we used to have melatonin. We'd always be like, hey, anyone want a melatonin when we were in college? If we had anyone staying over. And I'd be like, anyone want a melatonin? And then I'd hand them one. And I'd be like, they're chewables. And they weren't chewable. <laughs> <laughs> so they would we're- fucking eat them. <laughs> <laughs> like, were laugh. they the gel capsules? <laughs> no, it's like they, not chewable. They were the chalk ones. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Just crunch into that. Uh, it's a good bit. It's a funny bit. That's fun. They're Give chewables. People, <laughs> they're chewables. Give people medicine and tell them they're chewables. It's a funny bit. That's uh, almost as that's remind me of the funniest little bit is there's uh at the corner slice front of the show of the someone show. put stickers on the urinals that oh, say yeah. voice activated <laughs> 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 and I, I just hope to God that someone in there has been like. Flush. <laughs> Please Flush piss. Push. Flush piss. <laughs> Fl- Flush? Wait, oh. So it's need- like, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that, Robert. Robert? There's no piss to flush. There's no like, piss. I peed all in you. <laughs> but I, I, pee- I gave you all of it. I it's gave all you all the pee. My balls are empty. <laughs> My balls are empty. I gave you all of it. <laughs> no, I just thought that was hilarious when I saw that. I was like, that. Nah. Because like, like, for a half second, I wanted to be like, is it true? <laughs> <laughs> Plush? <laughs> but I didn't do it. Please. Well, no, you have to say please. 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 It has please. to be Flush. like Flush. the right inflection. Flush piss, please. Flush piss, please. AI, hey, dude. That's where we're headed. Mm-hmm. Artificial intelligence, I'm not going to lie. If I can yell flush piss at a toilet and it does... I'll be very happy. I will get one of those in my home. I mean, you think those like new Japanese smart toilets do that? Dude, what if they do that yeah, with but bidets? They're like, it's like spray, spray ass. Spray, a- yeah, <laughs> flutter ass, flutter <laughs> ass. Does your you you got a bidet in there, right? I do. I'm sure that's been talked about. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. Yeah. I've been saying Every this day. for years. To well, you guys now on the podcast. I want to get a butt gun so bad. A butt gun. I know oh, the bum talk- guns. Yes, dude. Tell what's us a, about the bum what's guns. What's a bum gun? Oh my god! All right, I don't Actually, know. You tell that, and I'm gonna grab a water out of that fridge. Can I, I learned. Get a water. Are they fizzy waters? They are fizzy waters. Yeah, you give me one. Uh, get Jared a fizzy water. A butt gun. I learned this in Thailand. So uh, friend of the show, Thailand. Friend of the show, yeah, Thailand. Yep. You know, you've seen a sink sprayer before. You know, a sink the, sprayer. Sh- yeah, you pull it out of the sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How you wash dishes? Yeah, you wash them. You mm-hmm. spray them down. That's so what you do is yeah. you get a splitter and you put it on the water line that goes to your toilet. Yeah. got to be a plumber to do this you, shit, bro. No, you don't. You just turn off the water and screw it in. It's like a little hose attachment. I don't know that. And then you put a sink sprayer with a long hose attached to it, and you can put a little holder on the back of your toilet. Then you grab that baby, just, and then you spray, and it's like a bidet, but it's handheld. Nice. I'm not a big fan of the, like... You might as well hose your ass off in the lawn, dude. What I mean, no, if you, no. <laughs> there, there is a, there is a technique. I had to learn it. But yeah. it dude, if you say you get some Taco Bell, you eat a little too much fire sauce. That'll you get happen. a little spray on there, We've dude. You, there. you're walking out of there comfy. That sounds amazing. It's, actually, you hose uh, your ass off after a little shit. butthole spa, dude. The only problem though is like. You know, with a bidet, you just turn it over here. With when when you're reaching up, I feel like it would splash shit water all over your hand. No, there. That's what I'm saying. There's a technique. You got to wear gloves. You got to be at the 45 degree angle. <laughs> if you're not <laughs> at a 45 degree up. angle, you will blow shit water into your shirt in the back of the toilet. <laughs> <It's just laughs> all over the back. I, of your shirt. I learned that the hard way in Thailand. I threw out that shirt. 
They have ass spray hoses in Thailand. Everywhere. Really? Oh, dude, everywhere. Dude, I gotta travel more. The one, <laughs> uh, the one great. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get some culture. I gotta get some culture about Thailand. Is all their water is warm because it's the hottest fucking place on earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fun fact. Very next, humid. Next to Antarctica. Yeah. In Greenland. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they all have lukewarm water there? Dude, so yeah, you're not getting a cold spray out of the beehole. hole You're getting nice, warm, spa-like treatment. It's like cucumber water hitting your butt. Dude, nice and warm. It's Eesh. delicious. Lukewarm, dude. I'm going to name my son that. <laughs> lukewarm butthole? Lucas Warm. <laughs> yeah, Lucas Warm Newland. Lucas Warm Newland. <laughs> Lucas Warm. <laughs> He's a warm Newland. And yeah. then not too warm. Daughter, cold bitch Newland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do love my kids. I think so. I'm gonna name my Let's kid Butt Gun. Butt Gun. Butt yeah, gun. Butt Gun Moral. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what I'm naming my son. Buck. Buck Rough. Buck Rough. What's, Ruff, his, what's dude. his middle name? Tyler. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tyler. George. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> Buck Chuck Rough. Actually, that's Buck Chuck Rough. <laughs> Buck Chuck Rough. That's a good. But it can't be Charles. Though. It has to be Chuck. It's, it's Buchanan Charles <laughs> Rough. We'll call him Bucky <laughs> Chucky for short. Are you canon? Yeah. What is he, a fucking president? Yep. Yep. Yeah? The first He's libertarian pre- libertarian president exactly, is going to be yes. your son. Buck, Buck, <laughs> Buck Chuck, Chuck Ruff, Ruff, dude. <laughs> president Buck Chuck Ruff. Mm-hmm. He's going to drive NASCAR and he's going to be president. <laughs> all, at, all at the same time. All at the same time. It sounds like a President Camacho kind of situation. Just oh, saying. yeah. That's what his other he's middle ca- name is going to be Mountain Dew. He's going to be sponsored <laughs> by Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. The quesarito in particular oh, is going to dude, sponsor him. They need. Can we get a fucking petition to bring back the quesarito? I would love to. I, I can't believe they dumped it. It was so good. It was a bet. Like I, everyone I know that is a Taco Bell aficionado, such mm-hmm. as ourselves, such as ourselves. Ugh. Shut up. Gross. Uncultured swine. You eat fucking the same three meals every. You week. eat the same three meals every three <laughs> weeks, and it's all Taco Bell. <laughs> No. You suck and you're not funny. You yeah, suck you suck and you're, and not, and you're funny. not funny. <laughs> yeah, dude. How does you that You and your taste? stupid glasses. Taco Bell sucks. Do you want to wear them? Yeah, let me try them on. Yeah, you got to say something smart when you, you put them on. You do have to say something smart when you put them on. So, oh, so give us, uh, when you put these on, I want you to give us your most intelligent take for why we need the quesarito back in America. Yeah. Pitch it to the people. Pitch it to the people. All of them. The quesarito is a fundamental part of our economy. Indeed. If they bring it back, our economy will just rise up back into the glory of the days of the 50s. Yes, like the mm-hmm. South. When the quesarito was invented. Hmm. By God. Yes, the Lord. Our our Lord and Savior. Well, Jesus Christ brought it down and then <laughs> He brought yes. everything yeah, down. These <laughs> dude, <laughs> are you even blind? Down. These like don't do anything. Those do stuff. You suck and you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you do you have to drive with these? No, I don't have to. Okay. I, you don't have to do anything in life. You always have a choice. That's, that's true. What I, learned. I mean that's we fine. live in America. I learned that from I Spider-Man mean, shit. too. Bobby's our buddy our friend Bobby. He's blind as hell, show. and he he didn't have glasses for like years and years, and would be like, "I can't read that sign." I'm like, "Bobby, we're right in front of the sign," and then he finally got glasses. He's like, "Is this what it's been like the whole time? Is this what it's like to see?" And I'm like, like "He never knew how to like, actually see." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "Bobby, get, yes." That's what, like the first time you take mushrooms. You're like, "Is this really what yeah. life is? This is yeah. crazy." It's like the first time <laughs> you just, eat a quesarito, you're like, "Is yeah. this what delicious <laughs> yeah. is? Is this what heaven it's is?" First oh time you have God. a puke flavored jelly bean, you're like, "Oh my God, I never knew I loved it that much." Yeah. Mm-hmm. God, puke in my <laughs> mouth now, <laughs> yeah. baby, please, I'm really baby, need the puke I need now. this. I need that for me. Do it for me. Ah, oh, dude, shaping our kids' youths. <laughs> what? What? Like Should we girls? do some sentences that have never been said before? Oh yeah, here's a new segment on the show. <laughs> Matt is going to introduce us to sentences. That have never been said before. Please. We don't. I don't think they've been said before. I guess we'll find out. We'll I'm find sure, out. I'm sure people will let us know Let's if see they what have you got. been said Yeah. What before. do you got? These are sentences I think have never been said before. Number one, this is a good funeral to fart at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I'm I feel like I feel like that has been said. I mean, people yeah. have definitely farted at funerals. I've farted at a funeral. I don't think anyone's ever said that, I don't though. think everyone's ever said, this is a good funeral to fart at. That means they're going to the funeral to fart. Yeah, but what if... What like, if it's someone they hate and is like, maybe it's... Or maybe it's someone who's a famous farter and they're trying to pay homage. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Who's a famous farter? <laughs> Don't try, don't try to knock me down, uh, That boys. dude in Jackass who can mm-hmm. blow darts with his butthole. Yeah. Oh, yeah? You know his name? Uh, butthole <laughs> McGee. I Not don't know. Not that famous. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Charles Buchanan Farter. Chuck Buck Farter. <laughs> Chuck Buck Farter. <laughs> Chuck Buck Farter. All right. Sentence number two. I want to be an astronaut, but I also love smoking meth. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's definitely been said, dude. No way. That's I guarantee been said. a meth head has what? said that. Yeah, I it's, it's definitely sorry, not dude. someone who ever had any chance to. Yeah, be a person who was going to be an astronaut, that. no. But a meth head in Utah has said that. Yeah, they've no said that to each other. Dude, Salt Lake City is full of meth heads like, who want to be astronauts. Yes, yeah. one crackhead said to another. Everybody knows that. Everyone, that's a, that's <laughs> common knowledge. You've never knowledge. been to Salt Lake City. <laughs> yeah, what? You've never been to Snowbird I've Resort. I've been to Snowbird, dude. You can't. And go you didn't snowboard, snowboard, dude. Snowboarders aren't allowed at Snowbird. No, that's Alta. That's idiot. the coolest shit in the world, by the way. Sidebar: I love ski resorts that don't let snowboarders. Yeah, dude. That's my you. You racist favorite. fuck. Dude, that's my favorite. <laughs> you racist fucking. fuck. Snowboarders oh. are a, uh, a, a bane pest. on society. Pests. A pests. They're like little Children. fucking... Little <laughs> fucking... You skiers are abysmal. Little fucking ticks on your skin that <laughs> suck. <laughs> 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 little fucking snowboarding ticks, dude. Ooh, <laughs> fuck it. Oh, I hate cool. it, dude. When I'm a snowboard, in. when Sorry, I see I a snowboarder, I got water on the pop filter. <laughs> Not on the pop filter, dude. Is that <laughs> a fucking all over your face, dude? Is that a pun, dude? A pop, pop. All right, here we go. <laughs> I hate it when snowboarders walk around with the snowboard like. Behind their backs. Oh yeah, that you know shit I mean? sucks. That's yeah. not a real snowboarder. The l- They're lame. The, I got a snowboard. I hate when you try to go to like the terrain park and there's just like sixteen wait, wait. of them all just sitting there. Hold and on, not if we're gonna talk anything. about people carrying stuff dumb, let's talk about skiers. All right, anyone who does the Texas suitcase, you know what the Texas suitcase is? <laughs> no, no. It's dude. when you put your skis, you pull your nuts <laughs> out. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> my, ex, <laughs> my ex loved the Texas suitcase. <laughs> God, <laughs> she would beg for it every yeah. day. It's <laughs> when you just shove pork in her face while you fucking doggy style. <laughs> How do you like that? Are you telling the Cowboys suck? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go no. on. The Texas suit saying, Call me Dak Prescott. <laughs> 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 Tell me I have a mediocre defense. Yeah, <laughs> We were good in the 90s, you remember? <laughs> I can't win a playoff game. We used to be America's team. <laughs> yeah, it's where you can't finish. Like yeah, Cowboys. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Te- What's Texas the Texas suitcase. Chainsaw Massacre? Texas Suitcase Massacre is uh, <laughs> you have your skis <laughs> together, and you take your poles, and you make it so the st- like one has the strap on one end, and you flip the other one so the strap is on the other uh, end. So it you holds them together. Them. Yeah, it holds them together, and then you put the uh, straps around your skis so you can hold it like a suitcase. You're holding the poles. You're holding the poles. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. You've seen this. I've never heard, seen about this, it. read about this. I've, I've heard about you've this. You've heard about it. It's yes, fucking dumb, and I hate it. I saw it in the news. Either why, that. why do you hate it so much? It seems very efficient, actually, to me. Fucking ticks. Dude. Then why don't you do it, Kyle? Because <laughs> uh, I. Because you're a smart person. That's why. It's mostly just because I'm lazy. I also hate when people have like fucking two hundreds. Like size skis, but they hold them at the tip on their shoulder. Like the tips are right here, so they can swing. Yeah, and then when they not... swing and they hit me in the fucking helmet, Did which it, has actually happened. It's like a javelin. It's way too far up. You got to put the bindings yes. on your fucking Exa- shoulder. That's you. like literally the space between the bindings where your foot goes. It's the perfect spot. Yeah, to hold your fucking it like skis. holds. I I see skiers do it all the time. They have like the tail on it and they're holding the bindings yeah. up here. I'm like, I'm like, how do you even do that? How, like, does, how does your arm yeah. not hurt? The fulcrum points fucked up. I'm not a scientist or a mathematician or even straight, but I know yeah, that you can't. With those glasses. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> and all the all the gays know that. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just take the skis and I hold them with one hand like this and I walk because I'm strong as shit. Yeah. That way you can play with yourself with the other yeah, hand. Yeah, the other hand, I fucking flip people off. Also, <laughs> snowboarders, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> suck, dude. I cuss Any, at children and flip yeah. them off. <laughs> Any snowboarder that holds their board, you know, like on the side, look at... Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But if their bindings are facing in to their body, yeah. that person sucks at snowboarding. Oh, I that didn't is know the that. Worst. That's fun. That is the... I, you can spot... <laughs> those are the ticks. Ticks on society, You can dude. spot the shittiest snowboarders by how they hold their like snowboarding. You sons of bitches. All right, I got another sentence. You Kay. guys ready? Lay it on me. We're a couple Nutella eating crime fighters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the fattest cop in the world <laughs> scooping with his hand. <laughs> We're a couple of <laughs> Nutella eating crime fighters. He's looking over at his partner, like, huh? Look at us. Huh? Aren't we a couple of Nutella eating crime just, fighters? But there's just Nutella all over their mouth. Yeah, and they're just like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> No, let me tell you, we are the best Nutella eating company <laughs> anywhere. Uh, I love Nutella. Then pukes all the Nutella up. <laughs> all over the fucking crime scene. Including the gold <laughs> foil. <laughs> yeah. They ruined the crime scene. Just, yeah. Go, there's gold foil everywhere. Why'd you have to bring in the Nutella eating crime fighters? <laughs> the Nutella boys? You brought the Nutella you boys. You brought the Nutella boys? They're goddamn God damn good, but they leave a mess of Nutella with everywhere they go. Make sure there's no crime on the second floor. They're not going to make it. <laughs> all right. I think John F. Kennedy would have loved the movie Napoleon Dynamite. No one's ever said that. No, no one's ever said no that. No one's ever, no said, one's ever that. said that. What about what about like his kids or his grandkids? 
I they might have been like, oh, papa. Oh, they could have. That's papa a good. I don't have. think they would have ever said that ever. Never. Not no. I mean, because he probably wouldn't have. He'd be like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good. That was a good JFK. You like that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's also not a Boston accent. I don't enjoy this guy dancing for so long. At the end, you kind of you threw a little Australian. I, I got a little. Got Australian. Yeah, you got a little Australian. You got down under, dude. Oh, <laughs> Wait, are you? <laughs> don't a, shoot me in me head, CIA. <laughs> are you one of those people that starts off trying to do an accent, but it always ends in like an Australian accent? It's, it, it does. Can. Because I do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do I that. I will start in like English and it just is Australian as fuck by the end. <laughs> like fucking you can't, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, no. 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 All right. Our forefathers didn't die for our sins just so you could have bangs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. We don't, we don't have to talk about that one. That one we'll just move on. Man, who has four fathers? <laughs> Anyways, man, that SpongeBob SquarePants sure knows his way around a dick. <laughs> <laughs> one more. I beat Bob Marley in a game of Red Rover one time. That's it for my sentence. <laughs> beat Bob Marley in a game of Red Rover. Do you think Bob Marley ever played? Do they play Red Rover in Jamaica? I, don't, I didn't think so. I don't think he ever knew what Red Rover was. You mean they do like to run? I don't They're know. notorious yeah, they runners, so they could run into I each don't other. Know. They might have played Red Rover with like guns. Oh, dude, come on, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Whoa. What? Jesus, Whoa. we're not divisive here, dude. Do they what? shoot each other? In I don't know. I just assume Sean Kingston owns a gun. Why? Because he's black. The rapper? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because oh, he's Jamaican. Oh, he's Jamaican. Me want to buy a gun. Uh, that <laughs> wow, that <was> Jesus! <laughs> as my attempt at a joke. Uh, <laughs> Come see him live. Come see us live. He's live in our bedrooms. Well, that was uh, our new segment: sentences that have never been said. Brought to you by no one because we're not sponsored anymore. Jared, do you have any any sentences? Mm-hmm. I wrote down three and they suck. So we'll we'll just okay. rush. We'll rush. Through Don't these. cut your legs out before you're even standing, bro. I wrote these when I was very hungover this morning. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Guatemalans can't produce sharpies. <laughs> I, don't think I don't think anyone's ever said that. Uh, probably not. <laughs> All right, moving on. Hands are like the beaks of the human. <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's good. I mean, I, didn't, I, mean, I didn't say they were gonna make sense. Birds I just said do that. No, it does kind of make sense because birds pick stuff up with their beaks. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see where you're going. Yeah, I guess talons are just like feet. For humans. Yeah. And then, like, their wings are arms. They don't have hands. They don't have hands on their wings, yeah. though. Right. And that's where the beak comes that's in. That's fair. Birds. I think birds. I just... <laughs> wings are their birds. arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The wings are their arms. God, sometimes when you think you have wings, but you're all elbows, you know? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all beaks today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these beaks are just doing a bad job. Yeah, these beaks are made for walking. Like butter beaks over there, dude. Can't, <laughs> can't hold beaks. on to anything. <laughs> butter beaks McGee. <laughs> All right, my last one. Every person named George has ham in their fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I really, w- I hope that one's just true. I hope that's a fact. Yeah. I hope so. I hope that's just a fact. I, I hope don't every... know that many Georges. I know a lot of people with the last name George. Like Eddie George. He went to Ohio Nick, State, though. Nick Fuck George. Him. Nick George, friend of the, friend show. Of the show. Um. Yep. Yeah. That's... About all of them. All the jo- I'm sure they all do have ham in their fridge, though, so I bet people say that all the time. That's a stupid example, Jared, and you ruined the segment. Yeah, that's fair. Who doesn't love ham? <laughs> holiday ham. Holiday With ham. honey base. Good holiday ham. Oh, Good honey that base. sounds actually amazing. And also, I'm starving. I think we need to get this Fat Boy Sunday on a move On here. the rocks. On Jared, the rock. one more thing. Have you ever accidentally bitten into a plastic fork? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last night. <laughs> what? Oh, you weren't there? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, we had like... Pulled pork at the barley. Oh, I was hoping it was just a fork, (laughs) and you thought it was cake. (laughs) (laughs) But it was this fork, a fork (laughs) or cake? (laughs) Yeah, no, I was eating pulled pork with a plastic fork, and then I bit into the like. I don't know why I bit so hard, but I snapped (laughs) so so far. (laughs) (laughs) But in the end, it's all plastic fork. (laughs) Yeah, dude, I I bit the tip off of one of the fucking prongs, (laughs) and I was just like, I looked at, (laughs) looked at Teresa, and I was like. I think I just ate fork. <laughs> 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 and she looked at me like the idiot that I am. It's so like, that's. Did you get the fork out of your mouth or did it break off? Like, 
did it did it hang on to the fork or did it break off in your mouth? No, it broke off in my mouth. Like did my you get tooth, it out of your mouth or did you like swallow it? Like my tooth it? hurt. No, I spit the pork out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna. There might be shards. I don't want to eat. You plastic. spit the pork out, found the piece of fork, <laughs> and then ate it. And then ate, <laughs> it. <laughs> ate the fork. Yeah, <laughs> like, that was what I was looking like, for. God, that fork is delicious. Like, what did you marinate this in? Plastic. <laughs> 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 Who put this pork on my fork? <laughs> Name of my first special. <laughs> <laughs> I got pork on my fork. <laughs> Porkin' and forkin', baby. Nowhere to go. You know what they sp- they say? Spooning leads to fucking. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's hot. <laughs> I love it. I love you guys <laughs> love so it. much. How much do you love our fans? How much do I love our Talk fans? Talk to the camera. Tell them what you think. Tell them what you're going. Tell them what's going on with you. <laughs> Fine. Tell them about your childhood. My childhood. Tell them about your uh, first love. I try to forget it every day. Tell them about Pop Warner football. Tell them about and Pop the, Warner and the football. Horrors. Pop Warner football. Well, I got a lot of CTE when I was nine, so I doesn't. <laughs> I don't remember. A yeah, lot. this was back when we could hit. Back when men were men. Back when we could hit each other with the tops of our heads and the helmets. Yeah, the helmets right. protect your brains. Back, back when you could rip someone by their hair and it didn't matter. Back when yeah. football was fucking real. Yeah, dude, you can grab people by their face masks and fucking rip them to the Not ground. Fake as shit like it is now. Yeah, right now it's all rigged. Back when John, NFL's rigged. Back NFL when was John rigged. John Cena was still a rapper, you know? <laughs> yeah. Back when Hulk Hogan <laughs> so was laying down lines. <laughs> you know The Rock was a rapper. Yeah, do you know uh, <laughs> fucking Macho Man put out a rap album, oh, too? Oh, yeah, you ever heard Macho Man Randy Savage's? No. Oh, he has uh, a diss track. It's like the whole thing is him just being like, fuck you, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. I'm Hell going yeah. to beat Dude, you on the mat. It's so good. <laughs> so you need to listen to it. Amazing. It's fantastic. Hollywood Hogan, Hulkster, whatever your name is. <laughs> it's so good. Talking shit. That's a beautiful thing. It's the best. I do love you guys so much. You're I, all I have. I love their fans. Jared so Morrill, dude. Jared Morrill. Hey. Let's hear it for Jared oh, Morrill. Jared. For the show. Really bringing the whole podcast together. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll do an open mic again soon. Yeah, let's do it. Do comedy, dude. Do it's comedy. easy Once and I, it's fun and it never it's, sucks. It's never scary <laughs> and it's never really <laughs> shitty sometimes. Yeah. Well, it doesn't once fucking... I, once I take over the position full-time at Fuzzy Wigs, come check it out. Come check it get out. Get candy. Get some get, get some uh, bunny tracks uh, ice get cream us a from sponsor, me. Sponsor, you know? dude. Yeah, get, get us, us a sponsor. Get us a sponsor, dude. I I could work on that. Honestly, if you just pay us and fudge, we'll do it. 100%. <laughs> dude, we'll I just can, eat I can figure that out. Fuzzy Wig candy on the... Ch- I'll, I would love to do that. No joke, like... For you. Jared, I think we get. I'll see what I can do about that. We'll do a segment of the show where we try a new Fuzzy Wigs product. That's actually a good idea. I love that segment. We're doing it. I love it. And if we don't do it, we'll just keep doing. We'll just keep. We'll just keep, keep moving on. Keep moving along. on. Keep yelling at people on the streets. Do another 120 episodes. Thank you for joining us for episode 120. Clap it up. Thanks, guys. Love you. We'll see you next time. We'll be back. We got one more show this summer with Peter Huang. Coming all the way from New York City. So it's going to be good. And uh, yeah, check it out. Bye. 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 Love you. (laughs) Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast.